Hi, this is Julie. Welcome back to my channel. This is the third box of the 200 pound mixed clothing, what was it? Bulk mixed clothing rescue box on ThreadUp. So the first two boxes were pretty good. Um, I had 80 items in my first box, 59 items in my second box. And so far I have 30 items that I'm going to donate out of those. Um, 50 items to buy, sell trade stores. I kept five and I'm listing the rest most likely. I still have a little bit of research to do, but I wanted to get everything together at once to do all the research at once. So I'm gonna record or film this one and then I'm going to unbox the next one and that'll be the next video. So I don't wanna waste any of your time. I'm actually, I cut this off already, but I haven't opened it. Um, I, the other two videos are really long. So I'm gonna to try to go as fast as I can. Um, this one is from, let me see, sorry. Um, where is it? Oh, sorry, this one's from, Pe sorry, Pennsylvania. This box was actually in the rain, so part of it's kind of messed up. There's actually a hole in the corner, so I'm really hoping that nothing was ruined in that, but yeah, this box is from Pennsylvania. So, here we go. All right, what is this? This looks like it's a, what the heck is, oh, okay. So probably a halter dress where you tie it up here. <laughs> um, let me see if there's a brand. Oh, Venus. That's cool. I, I think it used to sell better. Um, um, I did pick up two pieces a couple of years ago that one is still sitting for me. So I don't know, but there's this, it's like a maxi dress. This is cute. I will probably list that especially since spring is coming up. Um, this is Kirkland, so Costco, size medium leggings. I did get a lot of really cute, um, they have pockets there. I uh, got a lot of cute uh, active wear in my last box that I'll be listing within the next week. So um, I actually had bought an active wear box and I got cuter things in this box with active wear than I did the other one. Uh, so Knox Rose, this one, this is cute. I'm, uh, Knox Rose does sell for me. Um, it's usually, usually get like $20 of item. If it's really cute, I'll probably list that just to keep my, my goal here is, um, I want to fill my closet with more bread and butter items. So that's why, that's another reason why I bought these. I want to fill it with that. And then after these boxes, I'm going to go back to sourcing mostly at the bins. But um, anyway, this is a W5. This is Anthropology brand. It's like a tweed material, if you can see there. It's really cute. It has a zip closure on the back. I will list that. I've been really happy with these. I would probably do it maybe once a year getting these. This is Pixley. Um, I've never heard of this brand, but there's the tag Pixley. Sorry, it's backwards. Um, I'll research this. This could probably be a buy sell trade. Oh, it actually, there's a little tear right here. I don't know if you can see that um, right there. So I'm not going to list this. This will be to donate. After I went through everything, I did actually find more things that I needed to donate than I had originally said on the previous videos, but you know, that's okay. There, this is Lush. I actually got um, this dress, it's like a shift dress. I actually got this dress in like a tan, maybe like a light mauve, I don't know. I got it in a different color, so um, I'm going to list that. This is Naked Zebra, just a sheer, oh, okay, this is cute though. Um, it's a button up and then it has a split back there. So that's cute. I don't see any pulls. I'll look at this uh, later, but I don't see anything wrong with it yet. This is KLD Signature. I've never heard of this. It's very bright. Um, yeah, I will, I'll research this. I don't see anything wrong with it. Oh, just when I'm 
quickly glancing over it, but we will see. This is Body Glove. Um, I don't even know what this is. Uh, it's Body Glove, but it has like the little gold tag right there. But it doesn't have, it doesn't look like it has sleeves. It's just probably one of those, like a poncho kind of. Yeah, it looks like a poncho type of thing. So I'll research this. I don't, I don't know if I've ever sold body glove before. Um, but I don't think it's worth that much, but we'll see. Um, this is just a crushed velvet dress. It's a bit strappy, so. There's the back. Um, I don't see a tag. Uh, okay, there is a tag, it's size extra large. I don't know who this is by though. It honestly looks like it might be from Target, but I'm not sure. Um, so I will, I'll research this. I know these are trendy, so I'll probably end up listing it, but um, let's see, or, Take to buy, sell, trade stores. This is a champion. There's that. Um, just one of those body warmer shirts. Does it have thumb holes? Yeah, it has thumb holes there. And yeah, I will probably list this. Um, oh, there's a little cracking in the C right here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, maybe I'll try buy, sell, trade with that. I am still trying to find good buy sell trades over here. So Plato's is not near me. This is called By the Way. Sorry, I know I'm all over the place with talking. It's just a little mini skirt. This is By the Way. It feels like, mm, yeah, I was like, it feels like suede, but I don't think it is. It's polyester and spandex. I've never heard of the By the Way brand, so I'll research that. Um, the closest Plato's to me is actually near kind of near Knott's Berry Farm. So I do go to Disneyland a lot, as you can probably tell, but um, I don't know how long it would take me to drop things off and then pick it up. And I don't want to drop them off and go to Disneyland and have to come back. So I don't know what I'm going to end up doing, but I'm still looking through some places. So if you know of any great places in the LA area, please comment below, that would be awesome. Um, collection by Babo. B-O-B-E-A-U, Bobo, I believe. I've never heard of this, but this is just a little drape open cardigan, just black. Doesn't look like there's any holes. So that, I'll research that because that's really cute and it's soft as well. Um, Layla Jade, I believe. Never heard of this brand. It has like the dolman sleeves, um, just a gray, plain sweater. I'll research that. <clears throat> um, Lulu's, this is size extra small. Um, it has button closure in the back. I don't know if you can see this. So there's that, the button closure in the back there. Lace on the front and sides. This is cute. Um, it looks like just like a bridesmaid's dress, but I will I'll probably list this as long as it doesn't have any pulls or stains. Um, this is very bright. Let's see. This is just looks like a cover up. This is it's on the front. Um, the brand is Back from Bali. Live free. Um, okay, I will. I'll research this. Again, with spring coming up, people are planning their trips and everything, so maybe they would like that. I don't see. Okay, there's no tag. This is very soft. It's a turtleneck sweater. Um, yeah, oh, it's not wool though. Acrylic, nylon, and spandex, extra large. I don't see a brand tag, so. We'll see about that one. I'll probably take that to a buy sell trade store, especially because it's a turtleneck. And again, we're going into spring. BR standard. These are just joggers, it looks like. Yeah, joggers, pockets. There's a side zip pocket here. And then this is cute. 
cute. Um, what size is this? I don't know. I don't see a size. But that's cute. I would probably list that. Here. Is it Babo again? I Again, I don't know how to pronounce this. Babo, I think that's how you say that. Sorry, I know. Again, it's backwards. It's just a, like a shift dress. It's plain on the front and then it has the like three or no, there's two little straps there on the back. That's cute. Size large. I'll probably list that. Everyone needs a cute little black dress. This is, is it privy? Yeah, I think it's privy. P-R-I-V-I -I says privately privileged. This is a very tiny, uh, either, I think it's a top, a strapless top. It could be a skirt, I don't know. <laughs> but it has the lace bottom and a zipper back. So I'll research this. Um, this is Promessa. Promessa, size medium. It's a cute little off the shoulder top. I'll probably list this. It's, it's cute. It's like gauzy type of fabric. What is this? Honey punch, size small. Just a little vest. There's pockets on the front, full zip. Closure. This is really cute. I think I've seen one of these as like a J. Crew uh, brand that I really liked. This is size small, so it won't fit me, but <laughs> it's really cute. I've always liked it. Um, these are super soft pajamas. It just says medium. It doesn't say a brand, but these are so soft. It's like blue. Like it looks like just pajama pants. Um, yeah, there's that on the bottom. Um. I I don't know what I'll do with that. Um, <clears throat> what is this? Cotton Candy LA. Extra small, small. I've heard of this brand. I've never sold it though. So I'm not sure what the resale value is. It's really cute. It's a cable knit sweater with like the distressed um, bottom hem and on the sleeves too. It's kind of like a bell sleeve also. And a turtleneck. It's distressed on there too. I don't see any stains um, yet. So hopefully there aren't or any pulls and I will probably list that because that's adorable. Um, this socialite size small. It's kind of just a waffle knit maroon waffle knit v-neck long sleeve top. I would probably take that to the buy sell trade store. This is by Anthropology. Um, no specific brand, just the by Anthropology brand tag and then that's really cute I will definitely list this it's all embroidered and then has the cinched back there this is so cute yeah I will love this um this is is it under armor I think yeah there we go just uh, another one of those body warmer tops it's kind of like a a mauve like a burgundy mauve almost it's hard to show in the camera but this is really cute it doesn't have any cracking um i'll probably i'll probably list this i like to try to get things where people can bundle and add more things to it um this is tommy hilfiger these are just really lightweight pants um they have the uh zipper and the button here with the th on the button and then they have the drawstring here, so that would be comfortable. So I'll see if there's a style in there. Um, there's like the Tommy logo on the back too. I'll probably list those, but I'll, I'll look them up. I don't sell too much Tommy either. This is Express Design Studio. Just a cute, oh, the front's, front's cute. Um, if you can see there, that's cute. It adds a little bit to it. So it's not just completely plain. I would probably take that to a buy sell trade store though. Um, oops, that's too deep. This is a new day, size small. Um, what is this? Looks like a skirt, yes. Okay, so it's a skirt. It's really cute. I always sell a new day and like I sold a 
baby doll dress for $20 on eBay. I think it was last week or yeah. Um, you know, it has the elastic waist on the back. It's really cute, but just a little ruffle. That's really cute for spring. I always try to sell this and keep it in my closet because I feel like people do really like that brand and it goes in and out of Target so quickly. And sometimes people are always trying to find what they missed and can't at the store. This is such a soft <laughs> jacket. This is, oh, divided. So H&M size medium, but this is so soft. It's not, it's definitely not real fur, fur obviously, but this is really cute. Um, I'll, I'll try to sell this. I mean, it does take up a lot of room, but I did sell a lot of jackets the past few weeks. So I have some room in my jacket closet where I store all of them. This is called Attention. The brand is Attention. Um, it's just a plain white button up top. It, there's no detail or anything really. And it's hard to tell if there's any stains. White is hard to try and find without stains. So I'll check that over and maybe take it to the buy sell trade store. This is another divided size two. So H&M, um, just a little skirt, very little skirt that I would never fit into. Um, but none of these little silver things reminds me. Oh, there is one missing actually. Uh, yeah, there was another one, a baby uh, top that had like, all of them were missing. So. I donated that. <laughs> um, what is this? So, okay, so it looks like a halter type of jumper that is all sparkly. And is it purposely missing? Oh no, it's equal on each side. So, okay, I can't do this justice in a <laughs> uh, thing here, but it's a, these are pants. It kind of has some like mesh, uh, fabric that they're attached to. Let me see if I can find, no, it just says small. I'll try and do a Google lens um, photo on that and research that because that's cute. I, I mean, I wouldn't wear it for anything, but someone could have something to wear that to. <laughs> um, another divided skirt. Let's see. Okay, so someone called me and while I I turned off or I ended the call, but it also turned off my camera. So I have been going through and I think I've gone through another 10 minutes. So I'm gonna quickly go through this. Uh, it's just a just pink skirt from um, H&M that I'm gonna take to the buy sell trade stores. This is from Anthropology. It's new with tags. It's a really cute dress. It has, I don't know if you can see, but there's embroidery all over the sides and the front. Um, yeah, it says it was $148 and was on sale for $69.95 from Anthropology. And this is the, it's I think it's Floret, F-L-O-R-E-A-T. So that's really cute. I will definitely be selling this. Um, this is a really cute, super soft Nula Tags sweater called uh, from the brand Cyrus is really it's super soft it's not wool or cashmere or anything though I've never heard of the brand Cyrus I've heard of the Miley Cyrus brand but not that one I don't believe um, these are new with tags this is really cute a Pana a Pana I'm sorry if I've never heard of that or I've never heard of it but out of the loop uh, there's pockets on the sides but these leggings are really cute Brand new, there's uh, like mesh on the back side. So I will list those for sure. I can't believe my camera turned off. Uh, these are DSG size small. They don't look used really at all. They look new without tags, but there's like a fuchsia stripe here, light pink and white um, going down the leg. So that's really cute. They look cropped, like cropped ankle. So I will list those. This is Exhilaration, I believe it was. I I will probably list it, yeah, Exhilaration. Um, it's really cute. It has just embroidery on the front and the sleeves. And it's trendy right now, so even though it's Target, I like to just have it in my closet. 
Um, this is a really cute skirt that would have been perfect for Christmas. This is Express. Um, there's that. Uh, hit with back zipper closure. It's really cute. It's lined. It'd be fun to wear with like a um, nice cute like plaid sweater or something for the holidays. I don't know. This jacket has no tags at all, but it's really, really warm. Something I would probably never really wear in California. <laughs> um, it's really cute, but since there aren't any tags, I'll have to look in the pockets. There aren't any uh, logos on the buttons either. So I would probably take that to a buy sell trade store. I just don't think that they would be taking really heavy jackets right now. This is definitely vintage Sergeant Leisure, I believe. So there's that Sergeant Leisure. Um, yeah, it just has this little embroidered sun on the front there. Um, I've never heard of this, so I will probably take that to the, or actually, I'll, no, I'll look it up. Someone might like that for summer. Um, these Wild Fable, that's a cute, those are cute. Um, just striped pants. I'll probably list these. People love those right now. This is really soft and does not have a tag. Um, it looks like it's just a long sleeve dress. It's really, it's cute. It has like the is it cinched, um, it has like a, a drawstring down here at the bottom. So to pull that in tight, it's really, it's cute. I don't see a tag though. Yeah, even inside. So I might uh, do a Google lens search but we'll see. Um, sorry. I do not know what brand this is. Oh, here he is. Loft. Okay. Um, so just a cute little floral top. It might be cute for spring. It's extra small, but it looks like it's a, looks like it would definitely fit a small. Um, yeah, I might... I'll probably take that to the buy sell trade and if it, they don't take it, then I'll sell it. Here's a blazer with no tag at all. I might take this to the buy sell trade because I have got a few blazers um, in the past couple boxes, so I don't need any more, especially if it doesn't have any tags. Um, this is very bright. <laughs> Pretty woman made in USA. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard of this brand. I don't know. I'll research it, but I'll probably try the buy, sell, trade store just to see. I mean, it's very lightweight. It's really stretchy, but I don't know. Violet and Claire. I've never heard of that, but it's just a sheer, um, there's a V-neck there. Um, I'll probably take that to the buy, sell, trade store. Here's a Candies, size medium. Um, it's just a little, I don't know if it's buttoned at the front now. It's just an open sweater, but on the back it has these little, um, ties there. So, that's cute. I don't know. Um, I'll probably do buy, sell, trade with that. This is Collective Concepts, size small. It's like just a skirt with a side zip closure. Um, collective Concept is kind of, almost looks like a vintage tag. I don't think it is though. It's Collective Concepts, it's lined. Um, I'll probably, I'll research it, but I'll probably take it to a special tape store. Here's another coat which explains why this box was so heavy, um, but it has no tag as well. So I don't know what to do with these coats. I can't, I'm not gonna keep them here. So I'll try to resell them. Or not, sorry, take them to the buy, sell, trade, sorry, not resell them. <clears throat> um, here, Socialite, <coughs> excuse me, uh, with a Nordstrom tag for 45. And there's that. 
for the all new with tags is size medium. And these, they're very silky and it has the drawstring, so it has the elastic waist, but then the bottoms are really cool. Um, so these are the bottoms of the leg. Here, let me try it. It's hard to, I'm short. <laughs> uh, here's the bottoms. And I, don't, I don't know if that ties or if it hangs like that, like over your like heels, probably. You probably need high heels for that if it's going to be down. But yeah, I don't know if it ties or what. So I'll try and find a, uh, I'll Google lens that and find a stock image. Oh boy, here's some more of this sparkly <laughs> stuff. Um, I don't, I think this is just a dress. Yeah, it's just a plain dress, um, dress barn. So I'll try the buy, sell, trade store with that. Size 14, oops, Banana Republic, size double zero. These are just, are they black? Yeah, black little work pants. They have um, just pockets there, pockets, no, this isn't really, a, yeah fake pockets there. <laughs> uh, these are cute, but size double zero is so hard to sell. So maybe I'll try the buy sell trade store for that. Here is Will Smith collection. Willie Smith, not Will Smith. Sorry. Um, it looks vintage. <laughs> um, sorry. Um, just black dress pants. Um, yeah, I'll probably, I'll research these now that I know it's not Will Smith and it's Will, Willie Smith, <laughs> I, if I'm saying that correct, correct. I apparently can't talk today, guys. Um, Middle Shop, never heard of Middle Shop either. And again, that's what I love about these boxes and even just going to the bins or thrifting in general, you just find out about so many new brands that you've never heard of. These are cute, just elastic waist shorts with a ruffle hem. Um, I think they'd be cute for spring. So I'll just check and actually I'll put that in my research pile because I don't know the brand. This dress has MSRP tag. It's Haley, Haley brand. It says MSRP is 150. This, if it doesn't have any snags, might be good for prom coming up. Um, the back is really pretty, uh, and I think it has side slits. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely has side slits there. So yeah, that would be really pretty for prom. I will, um, I'll probably list that either way, just because prom, who knows this. Okay. So this is just a band here. I, let me see if there's, there is a tag. Zoffel. Um, it says extra large. I guess it would be is it like, a, oh, there we go. It's like a tube top. There we go. <laughs> um, I'd probably take that to the buy sell trade. I've never sold Zoffel. I've actually heard people talking about it, so I'll actually list, look that up first. Sol Mio. Sol Mio. S O L E M I O. This is just kind of almost an off the Oh yeah, it is off the shoulder top and it has the draw, um, just a tie. I don't know. This is cute. I've never heard of this brand though, so it'll go in my research pile. Here is a new with tags, a uh, soft bra, sweetie, Cosabella, Cosabella. I am probably butchering most of these names, so my apologies, but so this is a little bralette. This is cute. I'll probably list that. I don't have, I got a few bras in my, in the fun boxes that I have a video of. Um, um, but I don't have other bras, so that's good to keep them. Frenchie, size small, just a little mini skirt. Very stretchy. Um, that's cute. I've heard of Frenchie. I'll look it up though. Divided. So this is another... Guys, I need to reset the coffee. <laughs> this is divided, so another H&M dress. Uh, you can see up close, there's kind of, yeah, some detail in the material. It's cute, it has a little strappy back there. Um, I'll probably 
was this? Because again, I like having little black dresses on there that aren't too expensive for people, especially right now. People don't want to break the bank. Here is an Eileen Fisher. Nice. So there's finally um, Eileen Fisher size extra large. So it's a great size. I think it's just a shirt sleeveless shirt dress. Um, this is awesome. I will definitely be listing this. Hopefully there aren't any pulls or marks or anything. This is super soft. And of course there is no tag up there. <laughs> Let me see. There's no tag anywhere. What is going on? Anyway, I don't know what brand this is. It's really cute though. It's like a mustard yellow mock neck sweater. Uh, it looks like kind of balloon sleeve there. It's really soft though. I'll probably sell this if there aren't any pulls. Um, this is Yogalicious leggings. There's that right there. Just plain black, it looks like. Yeah, with pockets though, which are always key. Um, size medium. These are really cute. I will definitely sell these. They're not cute. They can't be cute. They're just, they're leggings, but you know, they're, I think they're a good staple to have in your closet. Garage brand. I've heard of this one too, but I've never sold it. Um, garage band, uh, brand. It's a little cropped cardigan. It's really fuzzy, so it looks like Y2K, so I might list it, especially on Depop, but I'll research that first. Um, this is the thing that I could actually see when it was raining and the corner of the box was open. I had no, I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> this is size extra large. There's no brand. And these are just really flared legging or pant I don't know I mean they're almost kind of see-through too so I think I'll just donate those and I'm glad that that was the thing that was sticking out and <laughs> could have possibly been damaged and not some of the other ones Victoria Sport leggings these are blue it looks like no pockets but they're the like typical athletic leggings they have this little strappy detail on the back I will list those. I've photographed about half of the first two boxes so far, so I need to get those active wear things at first. Is it Jilly Geely? <laughs> you guys are gonna probably laugh at me right now. I have no idea what brand this is. Geely. Um, just across the, yeah, I'll probably take this to a buy-sell trade store, but I don't, I don't think it will go for much. I've never, never heard of it. Another Jacqueline Smith, um, just a little mock neck stretchy top. And that other Jacqueline Smith shirt, I was going to look up to see how the, how it resells. So I'll add that to it. Um, just some, oh, these are leggings. I've been curious about these, but like, I'm in California, so I don't necessarily need them. But um, they're like the fleece lined leggings. So those are cute. Um, I will, I will look, it looks like everything has been cut off, so I don't know what size it is. Um, I might take those to the buy sell trade store because I know people like those. My sister-in-law actually asked for them for Christmas, so. I just had no idea where to buy them. Rue 21, uh, medium. Um, just a, mm, yeah, I don't see any snags, but just a cute little top. I'll probably take that to the buy sell trade store though. When they're playing like that, I usually take them there, or not usually take them there. I usually don't resell them. Um, Ezra, just a little plain shirt with the front pocket keyhole back. That's cute. I've never heard of Ezra. I also feel like I did get something in one of our other boxes. So I'll look that up. I don't even want to try to say this. Let's say, I don't know, L-Y-S-S-E. Uh, just leggings, plain leggings. Are they a blue? I think so. 
Um, I don't think these are... I can't tell if they're workout leggings, though. Because they almost look like they could be, like, career pants. But, I don't know. I'll have to look these up. Because they do feel really nice. And they're really stretchy. I just have never heard of that brand. Um, this is... Les suit separates. So this is a just skirt. It's fully lined. Um, polyester. It looks definitely looks like a vintage brand. Um, but yeah, zip closure on the back. Oh, it does have a couple of stains on the front though. So that will be donated. You can kind of see the stains there. So that will be donated. I only have a few more left. Yes. Okay. This it looks like an activewear tank. No tag that I can see, but it's cute. Um, just kind of looks like it's almost a rose print, flower. I don't know, but that's cute. I will. I'll try to look that up because I'm just trying to get as much activewear as I can. Here's H and M gold shimmery skirt. Um, Probably buy sell trade store. Fabletics. And there's no cracking on that. So this is cute. Oh, I like this. Um, just like the back is more, not mesh, but like a more stretchy, like almost waffle knit kind of fabric. And then there's the draw, yeah, drawstrings on each side. So and it's bright, 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 bright orange so I will sell that this one is very pilled Jenny size large <clears throat> it's I've never heard of the brand I don't even think it's worth using the sweater shaver on but you can see it's really pilled right there so I think that'll just be to donate and these are the last ones so we got Yogalicious bike shorts, size medium, just plain black, no pockets on the side. Um, this is double zero, a lovely large. Okay, it's <laughs> the size name or the brand name is double zero, but it, the size is lovely large, not just large. So it's just a crop top, like strapless. Um, and then, like tiger print leggings, I don't see a brand on here, but, oh, Fabletics, okay, Fabletics on the side. So, the, it's kind of a little bit cracked though, so I'll probably take that into the buy, sell, trade store. So, anyway, there we go, there's box number three, and I will be back with box number four, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching, have a good one, bye.